everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another comic video. Today, we're going to look at all of the October 2024 Batman related DC comics. When I say Batman related, I mean Batman, Detective Comics, Batman and Robin, World's Finest, Brave and the Bold, Justice League, Catwoman, Nightwing, Teen Titans, anything that's even remotely Batman related. I pre order all of my comics from DCBService.com, that stands for Discount Comic Book Service.com. I order from them because they offer 40% off cover price. And when you get as much as I do, 40% makes a pretty big difference. In this video, we're going to take a look at my comic wall. We'll take a look at each of the comics, one by one, and we'll get them put up. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with the October releases. We've got Absolute Power starting, Absolute Batman, that giant logo. We have some Halloween cover variants, some artist-specific cover variants, a couple of Hispanic Heritage Month cover variants from last month, reprint of Detective Comics 27, Lots and lots of cool stuff. The sequel to Long Halloween. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's see how we got to this point. You may not be able to see it very well, but behind all of these unopened Batman figures are all of my Batman related comics. Batman and related. So here's a look at the box as it came from DCPService.com. That was doing a pretty good job packaging everything up. Tons and tons of bubble wrap. And then each bundle of comics is wrapped in plastic, has cardboard on the other side, and a rubber band around them. Here's one bundle of individual comics. Here's another bundle of individual comics. Here's a bundle of softback graphic novels. Another bundle of individual comics. Here's a few different hardcover graphic novels. Another bundle of individual comics. Another hardcover graphic novel. Another bundle of individual comics. Another bundle of comics. Yet another bundle of comics. And looks like reprint of Detective Comics 27. Here's everything out of the box, laid down on the table. We have 13 different things wrapped in plastic, seven of which are individual comics. Let's get them out of the plastic and see what we got. And here they are, out of the plastic. Next step is going to be to break them down into different piles, into an order that makes sense to me, the same order they are on my comic wall. So now we've got these books broken into five different piles. The first pile will contain the core Batman-related titles. The second pile, Just League Books. The third pile, other Batman-related characters with their own titles and their own teams. The third pile, Batman one-shots and miniseries and miscellaneous stuff. And the fifth pile, graphic novels. Next step is going to be, let me take the invoice and make sure nothing was missing or forgotten. So I took this invoice, as you can see, 40% off the cover price. There are 135 items here. They actually included one extra issue of Batman and Scooby-Doo number 10. Their error, not mine. So now let's take a look at each cover one by one, and we'll start off with the first pile, the core Batman-related titles. So here's the first pile. This contains the core Batman-related titles. And we'll start off with a reprint of Detective Comics number 27 from 1939. This is Batman's debut 85 years ago. Can you believe it? They reprinted this, and it's on a little bit of a larger oversized comic, which personally I don't like. I want it to be able to fit in with the rest of my comics. Even the Golden Age books are a little bit bigger, not nearly this big. Anyway, Detective Comics number 27. Traditional Batman. Then we have the foil chrome variant cover of the reprint of Detective Comics 27. And then we have the blank variant cover of Detective Comics 27. Now I want us to show some of my older reprints of Detective Comics 27. This was, I think, some sort of Nabisco mail-in version. This was the Millennium Edition. And, I hate to say it, I don't remember where this one came from. And then, Detective Comics, that was number 27. Let's jump ahead to 1089. 85 years later. Detective Comics, 
1089 variant cover. Detective Comics, 1089, another variant cover. And Detective Comics, 1089, Hispanic Heritage variant cover. We have Montoya as the question. Now on to Batman Comics. This is another reprint. This is Batman number 237. And then the foil chrome variant cover of the reprint of Batman number 237. And then the blank variant cover, Batman 237. And of course, here's the original version of Batman 237 from 1971. Now this is the third different series of Batman comics and this is number 153. All in, Batman. Batman 153 variant cover. Batman 153, another variant cover, Joker and the Batman. Batman 153, Kelly Jones Halloween variant cover. Batman 153 foil chrome variant cover. And now for Absolute Batman, number one. Now from what I read, Absolute Batman first print completely sold out, justifying a second print, and that also completely sold out, which is unusual nowadays. And there's a third print being released. I believe all of mine are first prints. I didn't order the second or third prints, although I wouldn't mind copies of them. Absolute Batman number one. Everyone's complaining about how big his bat symbol is, and it is pretty big, rectangular shaped, and it looks kind of dumb. The guy who drew this was tweeting that every time he gets a complaint, he's just going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Absolute Batman number one. Variant cover. Absolute Batman number one. Another variant cover. Sort of medieval looking Batman. Absolute Batman number one, another variant cover. Absolute Batman number one, foil chrome variant cover. Absolute Batman number one, another foil chrome variant cover. Look at the bat symbol. It is barely recognizable. And Batman Absolute number one, the medieval foil chrome variant cover. And Absolute Batman number one, blank variant cover. Now on to Batman and Robin. This is number 14. Batman and Robin, number 14 variant cover. Batman and Robin, number 14 variant cover. All in tie-in. And Batman and Robin 14 foil chrome variant cover. Now on to Batman, Superman, World's Finest. This is number 32. Looks kind of like 90s. Actually, it looks like they're both vampires. We have Tim Drake, Robin in the background. World's Finest, number 32, variant cover. World's Finest, number 32, another variant cover. And on to Batman, Brave of the Bold. This is number 17. Looks like we have the question there. Batman, Brave and the Bold, number 13, variant cover. And then Batman, Brave and the Bold, number 13, question, variant cover. Here's the second pile. This contains Justice League and related books. Starting off with a reprint of Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 7. The infamous issue where Supergirl died. The foil chrome variant cover of the reprint of Crisis, number 7. And the blank variant cover of Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7. Of course, here's my original issue of Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7. Now onto Absolute Power, this is number 4. Absolute Power number 4, Flash variant cover. Absolute Power number 4, Superman variant cover. Absolute Power, number four. Another variant cover. 
Absolute Power number four. Sort of a Darkness of Steel looking variant cover. Continuing with a the theme, another variant cover of number four, medieval looking. Absolute Power number four. Amanda Waller variant cover. Absolute Power number four. Villains variant cover. Absolute Power number four, another variant cover. And Absolute Power number four, foil chrome variant cover. Now for Absolute Power Task Force 7, number 7. Task Force 7, number 7, variant cover. Swamp Thing looks like he's dead. Task Force number 7, variant cover. Task Force 7, Martian Manhunter variant cover. Task Force 7, another variant cover. And then the Foil Chrome variant cover of Task Force 7. Now for Absolute Power Origins, number 3 of 3, finishing out that. Absolute Power Origins, 3 of 3, looks like the traditional old school Suicide Squad. And now for All In Special, number 1. All In Special, number 1, variant cover, it looks like this, and the one before are going to tie in with other covers, maybe there's number 2. All in special number one variant cover. This one also looks like it's going to share with another one. All in special or one foil chrome variant cover. All in special one another foil chrome variant cover. And now for Justice Society of America number 12. Got this because we have Huntress part of the team. Justice Society of America number 12 variant cover. And Justice Society of America number 12 another variant cover. Here's the third pile containing Batman related characters with their own titles and their own teams. We'll start off with Harley Quinn number 43. Harley Quinn number 43 variant cover. Traditional outfit. Harley Quinn number 3 variant cover. Harley Quinn number 43 another variant cover. Artist Spotlight. Looks pretty cool. Now for Poison Ivy. All in tie-in. This is number 26. Poison Ivy. 26. Variant cover. Poison Ivy number 26. Another variant cover. Poison Ivy number 26 Halloween variant cover. Poison Ivy number 26 foil chrome variant cover. Now on to Nightwing. Number 118 Fallen Grayson part 5 of 5. Nightwing 118 variant cover. Nightwing, 118, Artist Spotlight variant cover, just like the Harley Quinn, ton of different versions of Dick Grayson, pretty cool. Nightwing, 118, another variant. Nightwing, 118, another variant cover, Barbara and Nightwing. On to Titans, this is number 15. Titans, 15 variant cover. I do like this version of the Titans, looks pretty cool. Titans, number 15, another variant cover. And Titans, 15 Hispanic Heritage Month variant cover. Blue Beetle, Jaime Rays. Titans, number 16, all in tie in. Titans, number 16, variant cover. Titans 16, another variant cover. Titans 16, Halloween variant cover. And then Titans 16, foil chrome variant cover. Now for the Outsiders, this is number 11. 
Outsiders 11, Batwoman variant cover. Now on to Catwoman, all in tie-in, number 69. Catwoman, 69, variant cover. Catwoman, 69, another variant cover. And Catwoman, 69, foil chrome variant cover. Now on to Birds of Prey, this is number 14, all in, tie-in. Birds of Prey, 14, Batgirl variant cover. Birds of Prey, number 14, variant cover. Birds of Prey, number 14, Halloween variant cover. And Birds of Prey, number 14, foil chrome variant cover. Here's the fourth pile containing Batman miniseries and one-shots, miscellaneous stuff. Batman, The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween, number 1 of 10, a follow-up to that miniseries, pretty cool. Batman, The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween, number 1, variant cover. And Batman, The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween, number 1, another variant cover. Here's the foil chrome variant cover. Batman, Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number 10. Batman, Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number 10, duplicate, their mistake. DC vs. Vampires, World War 5, number 3, this is a variant cover. And then DC vs. Vampires, World War 5, number 3, another variant cover, and I don't seem to have the main cover. Maybe it's going to be on the next shipment. Batman, Gotham by Gaslight, The Kryptonian Age. Issue number five. Batman, Gotham by Gaslight, The Kryptonian Age, number five, variant cover. And Gotham by Gaslight, number five, another variant. Now onto Dark Knights of Steel, All Winter, number four. Dark Knights of Steel, All Winter, number 4, variant cover. And Dark Knights of Steel, All Winter, number 4, looks like Deathstroke variant cover. A new miniseries, Black Label series, Batman Full Moon, number 1, looks like Batman vs. a Werewolf. Batman Full Moon, number 1, variant cover, looks like he got bit. Batman Full Moon number one, foil chrome variant cover. And Batman Full Moon number one, blank variant cover. Another new miniseries, Batman and Robin Year One number one. Batman and Robin Year One number one, variant cover. And Batman and Robin Year One number one, another variant cover. DC Horror Presents Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos variant cover. And one more variant cover. Multiverse Collision Detected number two. Multiverse Collision Detected number two variant cover. Multiverse Collision Detected Number three, that is hilarious, sort of reenactment of Action Comics number one with the Mystery Machine. Multiverse, Collision Detected, number three, variant cover. Batman and Elmer Fudd, special edition. Batman and Elmer Fudd, special edition, noir edition. DC's I Know What You Did Last Crisis, number one. That's kind of funny. DC's I Know What You Did Last Crisis, number one. Variant cover, Nightwing cover. And another variant cover, Batgirl. 
And here's the last pile containing graphic novels. Start off with a smaller softcover one. Suicide Squad Kills Arkham Asylum. Based off the video game. Elseworlds Batman Volume 2. Collected Elseworlds book. I can see Red Rain Vampire Batman. Elseworlds Justice League Volume 2. Now for some hardcover graphic novels. Poison Ivy, Morning Sickness, looks like she's pregnant with some sort of plant hybrid crazy thing. Batman, One Bad Day, The Riddler. Batman, The Cult, the deluxe edition. If you have not read this, you should read this one. It's really good. And then Batman, the Long Halloween Deluxe Edition. Here's a look at all of the October 2024 Batman-related DC Comics. A floor full of Batman awesomeness. Now to get these books put up onto the shelf. Let's start off with the first pile, the core Batman-related titles. And then for the second pile, the Justice League-related books. Now let's put away the third pile, containing Batman-related characters with their own titles and their own teams. Then... To put away the fourth pile containing Batman miniseries and one shots. And finally, to put away the last pile containing various graphic novels. So that was a look at all the October 2024 Batman related DC comic releases. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some really cool stuff was going on in October, and looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with the November releases. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, Add to the comment section. If you want to see additional comic and action figure videos from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.